South Korean tech giant Samsung wants to become the enterprise Wi-Fi leader in the US and in Europe, and they're throwing some serious weight behind that huge ambition. My guest today is Garth Humphrey. He is head of Wi-Fi innovation for Samsung Wireless Enterprise Group USA. Join us right after this short message from our sponsor. When we made our first semiconductor back in 1983, we drew inspiration from it. To make a phone so light, you could hold it in one hand. And another one, you could literally wear on your other hand. But we didn't stop there. Who would have thought you could make a TV smart before? Let alone a phone. We stayed ahead of the curve. With every one of our innovations progressing us all to the next. You see, true innovation only comes from looking in one direction forward. One innovation inspires the next. Samsung. Right, everybody. Welcome back to the Samsung episode of Wi-Fi Now TV. And uh, I'm Klaus Hetting, your host. As always, we're delighted to have Samsung on the show. And we're going to get to our interview in just a second. I just want to mention before we get there that Wi-Fi Now, the conference is coming up in Washington, D.C. next month. And Samsung, of course, will be there. They're one of our uh, major sponsors at the event. We're delighted about that. It's coming up specifically in D.C. on April 19th to 21st. So if you want to check that out, go to our website, wifinowevents.com slash USA. And if you have any questions about it, just drop me a line at klaus at wifinowevents.com. Now... A couple of months ago, I had a chance to visit the Samsung USA offices in Richardson, Texas, and I had a great chat with some of the uh, executives heading up the charge, so to speak, uh, to bring Samsung's uh, cellular-like solutions into the U.S. as a leading enterprise Wi-Fi solution, and of course, uh, they're also targeting Europe. Now, while the name of Samsung might not be uh, immediately associated to enterprise Wi-Fi, I can promise you that these guys are throwing some serious weight behind their bid to become a leading Wi-Fi enterprise uh, provider. So, and of course, there's some serious credentials behind this because South Korea itself has uh, the uh, fastest internet in the world. And... Uh, is a, still a hotbed for some of the world's most advanced broadband projects. In fact, on Monday, Samsung, SK Telecom, and the Korean government announced plans to build the first Internet of Things trial city not far from Seoul, Korea. They're throwing a lot of resources into building the next generation of wireless in Wi-Fi, in IoT, and just a second, we're going to ask Garth about all of that. So Garth uh, Humphrey is with us. He's head of Wi-Fi innovation for Samsung Wireless Enterprise Group in the U.S. Garth spends a lot of his time supporting advanced initiatives, especially the integration of Wi-Fi into Samsung's many, many, many products that rely on Wi-Fi connectivity. So Garth, welcome to the show. It's a delight to have you on. Hi, Klaus. Thanks for having me. Um, I've been a, a big fan of the show for a while, so it's, uh, it's great to be on this side of the interview. Oh, great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, Garth, Samsung and Wi-Fi. So Samsung, one of the world's largest consumer electronics manufacturers, obviously, and 
the seventh strongest global brand according to Interbrand. I didn't even know that. That's fantastic. Uh, Samsung's getting into enterprise Wi-Fi in the year in Europe and the United States. Let's start there. So here's the big question. Uh, what do you believe is Samsung's major value add to the world of enterprise Wi-Fi right now? Well, I think aside from uh, aside from branding, you know, Samsung is a is a big name um, and it's uh, an easy re easily recognizable name. Um, I believe that the innovation um, on the Samsung research and development side, um, putting the technologies that we've had experience with uh, into a Wi-Fi package. Um, is is going to to really head up the um, the innovation for for leading um, inside of the the wireless enterprise arena. Um, you know, outside of of uh, significant R and D spending, um, putting uh, putting the technologies that we've been used to seeing um, into Wi Fi, including um, uh, you know roaming characteristics that are uh, that people are familiar with with uh, with cellular networking, um, and the more important uh, roaming becomes and mobility becomes uh, inside a wireless network, um, the more of the Samsung name will stand out. Right, and let's talk specifically perhaps about some of the innovations that uh, set Samsung apart because uh, mobility uh, is, is not intrinsically a part of the Wi-Fi standard. Handoff is not as such supported in the standard, but you have at Samsung uh, fixed that and uh, and I know you have a solution for that. So can you tell us a bit more about that? Absolutely. Um, and, you know, we all, we all know, uh, especially people on this, uh, you know, viewing this, this venue, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a shared medium. Um, you know, there is contention on the, on the air. Um, and when people fight for things, uh, when people fight for airspace um, and, and fairness, you know, we, it can cause some problems. Um, you know, drop, drop packets aren't, aren't the friend of, uh, of voice over Wi-Fi. Um, we've been able to incorporate um, LTE roaming algorithms, um, not necessarily um, the exact handoff methodologies uh, that we are used to in cellular, um, but the algorithms that, uh, that do lead uh, the roaming uh, or initiate roaming, uh, not necessarily on the, on, on the network side, you know, clients do initiate, uh, they, they handle the roaming um, from that point, but uh, the technologies that we have integrated into the system um, will help make that a lot more seamless. And you, so actually you're using some of the uh, many, many years of experience that Samsung has on the cellular infrastructure side, of course, and incorporating that and, and, and uh, also, you know, to build carrier grade equipment, essentially, that's part of your story as well for, for Wi-Fi enterprise, right? Absolutely, um, and Samsung's been on uh, on the on the on the shoulders of, of carrier-based architecture for many many years, um, and it's, it's a big part of the Samsung story. Um, and bringing that technology into uh, into Wi-Fi uh, and enterprise Wi-Fi um, is is a great place for us. The uh, the product has uh, just recently hit the market uh, in the past two years, um, and a lot of uh, a lot of the reason behind that um, is learning from experience. Uh huh. And and let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, some of the market segments in enterprise because enterprise, as such, actually covers many things. It covers non-public facing enterprises, but it of course also covers uh, segments like retail, healthcare. Um, so, how do you see these markets developing for you in terms of adopting? Uh, it, more innovative Wi-Fi solutions that somebody like Samsung represents? Okay, um, absolutely. So um, one of the things we're trying to do um, is kind of stop the thinking of Wi-Fi just as, as a transport medium. Um, along with, uh, you know, the, the Internet of Things, IoT, um, wireless is being driven um, by many, many devices and many, many verticals. Um, take, for instance, the, uh, the medical healthcare field. Um, you're talking about mobility inside of uh, a healthcare facility for um, for radiology, for for diagnostics, uh, CT scanning, patient information, um, and, and digital charting. Uh, you know we can do that now um, with mobile devices, and uh, in the definitely in the case of of healthcare, um, the devices and the users are you know they're they're mobile. They're not nomadic. 
Um, you know, they, they're not at a standstill with data. Um, and then move about. Uh, the people that are using this type of technology in that healthcare vertical um, are truly mobile clients. Um, and that's a, that's a very important piece um, of, of what we do. There's high throughput, low latency, um, sensitive applications uh, that in many cases can mean the, li the difference between life and death. And that's, you know, that's, a, that's a big part of um, having a successful solution in that vertical. Right, and we're basically also talking about a, uh, an enterprise market that is growing really quickly and is becoming more innovative and advanced also on the user side all the time, right? So, we're, and, and I, you know, I for one think, for example, retail has only just begun understanding what they can use Wi-Fi for, and then healthcare is, an, again, another segment there. I'm sure there's, uh, there are uh, health applications of Wi-Fi today that are advanced, but it's uh, there's a lot of opportunity out there now. Oh, absolutely. Um, and again, going back to your example, um, education, uh, retail is is going to be a big player. The more that analytics, the more um, the bigger play that analytics play um, inside how users mm -hmm. use Wi-Fi um, is that, that can be highly monetized. Um, it can be highly successful. Mm -hmm. um, not just putting your brand uh, in front of the client, but putting your product in front of the client, which, mm -hmm. um, you know, as, as we all know, if you're in the, sh if you're in the store shopping, um, you know, it'd be great to, to be delivered, uh, to get a coupon delivered to you while you're shopping. Mm -hmm. um, and part of that is an overlay of, of analytics. It's the who, it's the where, um, and, and how we can better communicate with the, with the end user. Right. And, and, Let's talk a little bit about uh, the value chain or the ecosystem that you're involved in because you basically spend pretty much everything in electronics, right? Samsung does that. So as we also saw in the ad uh, from semiconductors uh, you know, to, to devices, Samsung obviously famous for uh, smart, smartphones and, and, and monitors and so forth, uh, to infrastructure, right? So. Um, is there a special value add for in your side for, for being able to, for example, complement small screens, meaning smartphones with large screens, wearables, and turning all of this into new forms of consumer engagement? I guess you alluded to it already. Uh, and, I mean, in my view, that puts Samsung in a special position but because there's not a lot of companies that span that kind of, uh, that many uh, layers in, in, in the ecosystem, so to speak. Right. Um, and, you know, Samsung has been um, a, a key player in that ecosystem uh, for decades. Uh, you, you know, small, small screen, um, you know, yeah, like you say, small screen devices, um, it, it's, it's been part of, part of our heritage um, and, and really some of the foundational technologies, um, you know, that you, that you see in, in LTA, uh, LTE radio access. Um, they are, the, the amount of devices that we have in people's hands, um, that, that number is not going to get smaller. Um, mm -hmm. And the more people realize, uh, the more enterprises realize um, that, that wireless and, and, and Wi-Fi is not going away, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, the better position they are to, uh, uh, to future-proof themselves uh, in terms of technology. Right. And, and Garth, let's, let's, at the end here, let's talk a little bit about the Internet of Things, and obviously a, a super, super hot topic and a, an area of, uh, of tremendous promise uh, right now for the broad telecoms industry and also, of course, for, for the Wi-Fi industry. Now, uh, I understand that you have some products specifically uh, targeted towards IoT coming out. Can you tell us? more about that and also perhaps a little bit about your vision for IoT and, and what you're doing specifically to foster this, to support this. Absolutely. Um, and we are, uh, we are road mapping an IoT uh, Internet of Things access point um, for this summer. Um, and aside from uh, your, your industry standard uh, 802.11, you know, uh, BG, AC, uh, AN technologies um, will incorporate some of the major functionalities um, and technologies that are required for the Internet of Things, um, Bluetooth Low Energy, for example, um, uh, and, and Zigbee. Um, you know, incorpor being able to incorporate those types of technologies um, inside a single point of, uh, inside a single access point, 
um, is going to be key uh, in enabling smart buildings um, and, and the devices that are associated with, with IoT, um, any sort of uh, control systems uh, that, you're, that you're looking at for uh, environment and lighting. Um, all of those uh, devices will be supported um, innately inside of the system. Mm-hmm. And an important component of that for you because it, it is the Wi-Fi component, presumably, because you, 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 the, the product that you're going to be launching is a Wi-Fi product for IoT, right? I mean, an actual access point that is optimized for that, no? Yes, absolutely. Um, so, and the, the real important technology um, and really what stands out to me, you know, my, my kind of aha moment about the whole um, the whole Internet of Things access point um, is the concurrent functionality of, of Wi-Fi and uh, Internet of Things applications. So essentially when you are delivering content, uh, monitoring or control content to, um, to these devices, uh, you are not losing your data stream or your voice stream uh, right. attached to the wireless LAN. Right. Garth, it's great to have you on the show and we wanna hear a lot more about Samsung in coming months and years and all the stuff that you're doing in the Wi-Fi space. We're also super happy that you're coming to uh, Wi-Fi Now, the conference in DC. I hope you'll be there personally as well. I know a lot of Samsung people are coming. I am. I, I will be there, and I'm 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 looking forward to the the presentations and the panels. Uh, and the uh, the Wi-Fi Now conference is going to be uh, is is definitely on my list for the next visit. Well, Gareth, thank you so much. We're looking forward to it, and uh, come back and share more info with us as soon as. Uh, you've got all of that, and and uh, thank you for joining the show this week. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, thanks for having me, and uh, I'm, I'm sure you'll see Samsung and, and Wi-Fi news a lot. Yeah, I, I have, I'm absolutely sure. It's all good. right. Thanks, all right. Thank you, and uh, that's it, everybody, for today's show. Thanks to my guest, Garth. Uh, Humphreys from Samsung and thanks very much to, for, uh, to Samsung for sponsoring this episode. Of course, next week, next week I'll be back with another great guest from the world of Wi-Fi. Thanks for watching and join us again. Wi-Fi Now is a production of RCR TV News. To suggest a show topic or to learn more about Wi-Fi Now events, you can reach Klaus Heading at klaus at headingconsulting.com. To find out more about Wi-Fi Now and all things wireless, visit rcrwireless.com.